We have been talking about an upcoming ammo shortage for a year now, and now it is officially here. And there are five facts that show that it is here. It's not a rumor anymore. It's not just talk. We are in fact entering into one of the worst ammo shortages we maybe have faced in our lifetime. And here are the five facts behind it. Number one, the war in Europe. This war has depleted small arms ammo as well as munitions uh, for both the United States and Europe, and we'll throw Russia in there too. It has completely depleted their ability to produce ammo fast enough. Now you might say, well, munitions don't affect us, but yes, they do because they take the same raw material and a lot more of it. So it definitely affects us. And I'm not gonna add this as a number two, but just throw in Israel to this equation now, you know, and all the billions of dollars of ammo we're sending to them as well starting now. So these war efforts around the world, uh, you know, let's pray something doesn't pop up with China because this is going to get even worse. Just number one, just number one is getting worse and worse and worse. Number two, this is already a very, very fragile situation when it comes to civilian ammo production in the U.S., it's a very fragile situation. We just recovered from an ammo shortage. That was the worst I had ever seen in my lifetime. And one of the groups that got us out of that was Vista Outdoors, the largest producer of civilian ammo in the U.S., producing some of the name brands of ammo that we're so uh, happy to have back. Well, they just sold all of their production facilities. Not some, they sold all of their commercial ammo production. All of it, all of it, not some, all of it. And they sold it to a company out of the Czech Republic called Revelist. And Revelist is owned by just one guy who's in his early 30s. And he, according to Forbes, is worth $2 billion. Well, he paid $1.91 billion for these facilities, so I'm not really sure if he has the means to run them at all. Uh, this is something that I hope works out, but this is a fact. This just happened, and nobody's really talking about it, but it is potentially devastating. Number three, the U.S. military change in ammo production, specifically the U.S. Army out of Lake City Ammo, which produces 30% of the civilian ammo in just two calibers. And they now, according to inside sources, have stopped commercial sales, period. Now, why would they do that? Well, a couple reasons. They're changing their, their calibers for one, um, in their rifle calibers, and that's the caliber they, they first started, they're, they're stopping to make right now. And this particular caliber uh, that they're switching to, they just spent billions of dollars with new facilities, building brand new facilities right in my backyard and at Lake City Ammo. And because of those facilities, obviously they're not interested in making 30% of the calibers that we want. They're interested in making military ammo for the same reason as number one. But in addition to that, I do believe that the current uh, governing bodies, they certainly don't want to sell us any of that caliber. Why would they want to do that? Number four, this is one of the biggest ones. Uh, this is just a more recent thing. Uh, distributors that are distributing these ammo to your favorite gun stores and your favorite uh, ammo stores, they don't have any more. <laughs> like in that particular caliber, they're out. They don't have any more. Go to your gun store, ask the guy that runs it, hey, does your distributor have any of this caliber? They don't. Like it, it's, it's official. Like <laughs> They're out. Now, you know, yeah, you're going to see some trickling in, um, but that is... The, that's essentially what you got is, is they are out. They are officially out in the most part. Finally, number five, we're entering into 2024 
And for some reason, everybody is talking about 2024. Uh, you know, it's funny. I was actually in Spain a month ago with my wife on a vacation. And I overheard somebody from Australia at a dinner table talking about how concerned they are with the presidential election in the U.S. in 2024. Um, it's something that the world is a little freaking out about. And, and you know, <laughs> I don't get it. It's, it's more just a lot of fearful chatter. But what fearful chatter brings is it brings a desire for people to just kind of hunker down and prepare and stock up and that sort of thing. And I believe as we get closer to the end of this year, we're going to see an increase in the purchase of ammo from civilians in the U.S., which is the last thing we need right now. Uh, but but it is something that, you know, everybody's talking about it. It's, it's oh, 2024 is coming. So, you know, I think when this election comes next year, it's definitely going to bring a lot of just fear mongering and divisiveness and mostly from chatter from Washington and, and the people running. So, you know, if, if we could as Americans just kind of calm down and not, not let somebody tell us we should be afraid, uh, but use our eyes and ears and our own God-given senses to realize when we should or should not be afraid, not just let the television tell us we should be afraid. So um, there you go. There are five facts that show we're here. Here we are. Hope you are ready. Uh, the ammo shortage of 2023 has begun with this one caliber. So uh, we'll see how the rest goes. Uh, my Again, my fear is the 9 millimeters coming next, but uh, we'll see. Any thoughts or inside? Definitely put that below. Would like to take a moment and say that most people watch this channel are not subscribers to this channel. Please take a moment hit that subscribe button. Greatly increases the algorithm and our ability to get these messages out. Most important part of this channel, we take prayer requests. So please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God. Love your family. Love guns.